Hey guys, welcome to Kerr Outdoors. Hey, today we've got something for you. Uh, this is a TAC pack. I don't know if you've heard of that before, but this is a uh, subscription box that is supposed to be filled with tactical gear. So we have one of these today to, to review for you. This was sent, um, it's for January. So this is the January TAC pack. And uh, we just wanted to check these out and see a little bit about uh, what it was all about. So. Here we go. Now, if you've uh, seen other reviews on this, it seems like most people say that to open this uh, this thing from the back here. Now, <clears throat> you see this comes in a 10 by 7 box, and I'll, I'll tell you what, this box was a little bit smaller than what I was anticipating, um, just in overall dimensions, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in here, um, and we, we will open it from the back end like lots of people have said to do. Now you can leave in the comments below if you guys have had good experiences with these kinds of uh, subscription boxes. We're kind of new to this here at Kerr Outdoors so we kind of just wanted to see what uh, was going on with it. So we open this up and hopefully we'll have at least $50 worth of stuff in this which is uh, at least what should be in there, that's what we're told. So it looks like uh, they were right to unbox this from the, from the back end. This has a description here. Let's see if we can show that. Uh, this gives you a little bit about what's in each one of these things, or what, what things are in this pack. Um, <clears throat> so it says a Mission First Tactical Torch Backup Light, uh, which it values at $50. Let's see if you can see that. There you go, Mission First Tactical ta Torch Backup Light valued at $50. There's a J&E machined lower vice block that's valued at $15. There is an ABKT First Aid Kit valued at $25. A J&E machine shorty vertical foregrip valued at $15. And then it's got a little bit of advertisement for February. So looks like it gives you a, um, a rundown of everything that's in this pack. Uh, from the get-go. So let's take a look at all these things and we'll see if they if we think they're really worth this amount of money. Um, all right, it's so like first up, oh, we've got this. Uh, let's just go ahead and take everything out. So uh, this looks like probably the first aid kit. Here is the backup light, uh, which they call a torch. Now I don't know about you guys, but uh, Growing up in the United States, I don't remember anybody calling flashlights a torch when I was a kid, but it seems to be the thing that's popular now. But there we go, it looks like a torch from Mission First Tactical. I'm assuming that you can go ahead and attach to the Picatinny rails of your AR or other rifle. And device block. Okay. There is a foregrip that would fit on your handguard of your rifle. I'll we'll have to take a look at that. And that is just about it. So that's all that comes in there. And I did get this little uh, Mission First Tactical sticker that came with it. That's said to get 20% off the entire site for Mission First Tactical. So I guess that's something I'll have to take a look to see if there's anything there that I can use. So, just to recap then, for this tack pack, we got this first aid kit, vertical foregrip, a uh, flashlight, and a, a lower vice block that you would use if you were gonna clean your rifle or do other tasks with your rifle. This might be a handy thing to have. Um, and that just fits right in the vise, and you put your lower receiver right on this so you can hold it steady. So there we have those one, two, three, four things. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these. Um, let's take a look at this uh, vice block first. Now this thing, pretty simple, solid piece of plastic that you would stick in a vise and put your AR lower on that to work on it. So it's more or less to hold your rifle in place while you do maintenance or other tasks to it. Okay, 
Here's the vertical foregrip by Janie Machine. There you go. Seems pretty sturdy. Now I'm a little bit double-minded about this because you know this is the type of thing that I probably would not myself put on my rifle. I kind of like to keep um, a minimal amount of things hanging off my rifle. I know a lot of people like these. So we'll see if we can find a use for it. It looks pretty good. Feels pretty solid. Um, so yeah. And then we've got this torch or a flashlight. Let's go ahead and open this up. There, just a small little guy. There, it looks like you've got this to fit on your Picatinny rails of your rifle. And, uh, oh, it's got a, a red light. And I'm assuming there's a way to switch this to different settings besides just red. But there you go. And then last but not least is this first aid kit. Now this looks like it's made out of some kind of nylon or cordura fabric. Um, it's got some web attachment in the back. Just the package, you've got both Velcro, that's nice. So I can stick that on a variety of backpacks. Just sort of carry that with me. Um, it's got this little front pouch. Looks like that front pouch just gives you access to the whole thing. Um, inside. There's a, looks like some bandage wrapping, a little bit of paracord, some tape, some gauze, a larger bandage, some band-aids, some Q-tips. So just some rudimentary first aid equipment. But I like this because this is pretty nice because now I have a cool little case that I can attach with molly webbing to my a backpack or just throw this in a backpack by itself and I can go ahead and add this so this gives me a little bit of a platform that I can add and I actually needed something like this because I currently don't have one um, you know our first aid kits get pretty hammered sometimes we don't use them a lot but still they get thrown around a bunch so I, I actually kind of find this a little bit useful so that'll be good so there we are with January's tack pack and uh, you can leave in the comments below whether you think this sort of thing is worth the price that they're asking for it. Um, according to their uh, their list here, it lists all the values of each of those things. So you can kind of see what uh, they're saying is what. And I believe these run about uh, $50 is what I think that is. Maybe 50 plus shipping or something like that. $49.99 or something. So if you, if you think this is a good idea or if you think this is something that you like, uh, tell me what you think in the comments and uh, maybe we'll do this again next month. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.